Where are you going, Bunyong? Oh, I'm gonna catch the latest film release. What film is that? Let's watch the trailer to find out. Ah. Late again? This is just an internship, sir. Who cares? Aren't you supposed to be working on the client's data? Just taking a break. Relax. I'm just an intern. I'm not even getting paid enough for this. We will terminate your IWSB with us. We have given you many chances, but I have not seen any improvements on your part. Go! 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 Benji, hurry up! You are going to miss your bus! Wow, wow. It's amazing. Wow, amazing. Yeah. The, the mom uh, is fierce. Yeah, I hope the sure. guy gets to work on time. It is a, uh, yeah, we'll soon find out. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's a privilege to have here with us the main cast of Benji Streams. So let's welcome Pei Boon. Rachel. And Daniel. Yes, once again, welcome to Korea Latte, this very special first episode. And we've got some questions for you about the film that uh, you're so involved in for the past weeks. Um, I would just like to start by asking um, perhaps, you know, um, the producer and the lead actor for the film, Benji Streams, uh, Pei Boon, what was the intention or what do you hope to get out of this film? Well, I think the main intention for this film is um, basically our students. They are quite a, you know, a big group of them are going for their work attachment in May. And we hope to use this film as a booster shot to give them a pat on the shoulder, um, you know, uh, and some form of encouragement before they embark on their um, IWSP, which is the work attachment. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm also wondering, you know, from the video, what do you wish uh, citizens could kind of learn or glean um, what you're trying to tell them? Mm. Okay, um, actually this film, right, um, is a very sincere production um, that is put together by Center for Career Readiness at SIT. Um, it's basically a collation of different um, experiences as well as stories from our citizens put together into this film. So you mean that it's actually real stories that we, uh, we have here in this film? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and when are they going to expect to uh, watch this then? Mm. Um, okay, so if you were to look at the trailer, right, there's a call to action and mm. that says it's the um, pre-departure briefing. Ah, yeah, okay, so okay. every time before the students leave for the work attachment, mm. they will, there will be this briefing. The focus of this uh, pre-departure meeting uh, briefing is actually for us to work with the faculty and the uh, office for citizens', citizens experience. experience. It's basically to brief the students on some administrative details, mm. but more to actually motivate the students, mm. right? To get the students the right frame of mind, mm. a right frame of uh, mindset uh, before they actually go in. To tell them, to share with them uh, what they can expect and right. how they can actually overcome and uh, be successful. So yeah. this time around, uh, the we're going to use this particular video in, in your briefing, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Ah, yeah. Okay, so so those of you who are heading out to IWSP come uh, May 2024, uh, before you go out there, there's a pre-departure mm -hmm. briefing. Don't need your passport, but yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just wondering, maybe Daniel, you started talking about that. I'm just wondering, you know, more of the, um, how, how do you feel more uh, as an actor in the film, um, the kind of message in the film that you think connect with the students you've encountered in SIT? It's a good platform for them to see, to have a, a glimpse into what they may face in the mm. future. All right? Right. It's a chance for us to help them to prepare to have the right mindset. Mm. So uh, maybe uh, you, you, you can share with us, like, uh, you know, your... your Descri describe a little bit about your. I mean, we don't give away you know that much, but a little bit about your role. Okay, so I play Benji, <coughs> and uh, this film is called Benji Stream. <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> it's basically revolved, you know, a, a day in the life of uh, a student. Throughout this whole film, you will realize that in initially, this student, you know, 
when he started off at, at, at the work attachment, um, the kind of mindset that he brought along might not be very um, positive. Mm. Mm-hmm. But halfway through, you know, there will be some um, incidents that actually quite bizarre, you know, mm. for him and mm. And there was a twist. Okay, you can mm. see, you, you can ah, hear that he's trying to twist. Yeah, yeah, he's hiding the twist. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, <that's laughs> okay, so um, and uh, Rachel, you play Anna. Mm. So you want to share with, with a little bit of uh, who Anna is, and you know. Okay, so Anna is a character whereby she is actually a very nurturing colleague and really hopes to see Benji succeed in 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 his work. Actually. But to be honest, um, when she looks at Benji's uh, <coughs> attitude at work, um, it doesn't make her really want to help him. Mm. Yeah, so, well, I won't share too much about what happened later. Mm. But, yep, so I, I play Anna, which is Benji's colleague, who really wants to see him succeed. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, that's the, the big boss. <laughs> the big boss. Yes, 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 Daniel. So what about your character and uh, what do you like about your character? Okay, one thing I like about my character is that... Uh, uh, this Mr. Lim that I'm portraying uh, is a very fair, mm. but yet by the book kind of person. Mm. All right, but one thing he has, he has uh, Benji's uh, interest at heart. Mm. All right, and uh, I think from the uh, video itself, you can see how he actually tried to help Benji. Mm. Uh, so uh, he is a, a boss who really wants. Benji to succeed but you fire him you terminate him in the yeah, we saw ah, <laughs> so that's where the twist will come in right <laughs> okay. so do find out from that video yeah. what actually happens alright <laughs> okay yeah. I see that uh, you know his his reaction as well as the the eyes right it was really filled with you know fierceness yeah. <laughs> fierceness as yeah. you're shooting the film you feel yeah. which yeah. is why I was a bit shivering <laughs> in some parts of the, the film yeah. Yeah. that's the, the other side of Daniel that uh, you don't see real life I'm not like <laughs> um, what are some of the you know by w- uh, some of these things that you think students should prepare themselves uh, you know before they go for work attachment Moving towards a new phase in their, their studies, mm. and that is coming to a word attachment. Right. Uh, the first thing they must really prepare themselves is the mindset. Mm. Mm. All right, the mindset. And the mindset that I will uh, strongly encourage them to have before they move in is that, you know, be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared to also face challenges. Mm. Mm. Right? Uh, no word attachment is smooth sailing. Mm. Alright, so you have to be prepared to face challenges mm. and how you're going to face challenges, how you're going to overcome them, right? And that is where uh, we've been trying to advocate growth mindset to actually help them to do that. Mm. Alright, so preparation, preparation, preparation. That's mm-hmm. very important. Right. Yeah. I think to add on to what Daniel mentioned, I I totally agree with him about this area of preparation, mm. because well in my in my experience as a career coach, I have actually come across like students who are really, um, who has this hungry attitude to learn, to want right. to improve themselves, mm. as well as are very self. They are actually very self directed. Mm. Why I say that, you know, sometimes you know they will actually make the initiative or they take the proactive step to actually meet me to arrange for consultation sessions, mm-hmm. um, in their resume writing, cover mm-hmm. letter writing. Yes as well as interview skills and I think it's really this proactiveness this self-directedness and this positive uh, mindset um, that will enable them to go far in life and not just for IWSP but anywhere in their life in their future career as well mm. yes earlier on I heard some of you mentioning that you know growth mindset so I'm mm. just wondering uh, how would you encourage you know people, students, anyone to cultivate that growth mindset? Mm. Perhaps, Rachel? Yeah. I, I think what really helps is really maybe to set aside at least like 30 minutes of a day. Maybe you could set, think about, like reflect upon the activities of the day, mm. the things that happen, you know, and reframe from that. Think about how you can improve from maybe certain things that have happened, how you have responded to certain things. And I think building this um, over time, you know, with this habit, you know, we, we ourselves would naturally um, have this um, re- reflect and reframe um, mindset in all the situations. Mm. So, for example, like if let's say we meet with certain challenging situations at work, you know, once we develop this habit, we may go into the default mindset of like, okay, you know, yeah, this may not be something positive, you know, how can I improve? What can I do about that situation? And of course, I think other other ways to really cultivate this growth mindset is to also surround ourselves with people of, um, well, positive mindset. You know, mm. sometimes who we are, it's also with the people that we, we are with. 
yeah, and also to seek um, feedback from trusted individuals. Right. Yeah. Mm, um, I think totally agree with what uh, you shared. Um, I think it's important to be open. Yeah, mm. the openness mm. of um, hearing feedbacks. Um, sometimes it's not just positive feedback, but negative feedbacks as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and um, you know, we want to see from all these feedbacks, how do we improve ourselves and mm. become better versions mm. moving forward. Yeah. yeah. For myself, uh, my uh, take is that uh, be involved. Mm. All right, be involved. Do not be sitting in the shadows and waiting for instructions, but be involved in proposing ideas, be involved in discussions, be involved in interacting with the people in the workplace. Right? Not only will you learn in terms of your technical skills, your uh, transferable skills, you build relationships, you build your credibility and reputation. Who knows? That may actually lead you having an advanced job offer if you have done your uh, work well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so, so you mean that they actually got a job offer even before they graduate? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So because they, they did well, they performed well, they have very good uh, work attitude, work attitude mm-hmm. behaviors, right? Mm. Uh, they demonstrated a growth mindset. <laughs> That's why the uh, companies are willing to give them an advanced job offer. Mm. Yeah. 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 Increase, increasing number of students getting job offers right. before mm. you know, they even graduate. So we always hear about growth mindset. Now you hear from the, the coaches uh, about you know what exactly you can do about you know growth mindset, being able to take initiative, be open, uh, you know to criticism, and how you can actually turn it into something that can help you um, spend time reflecting. I think that's wonderful um, you know, advice. advice. Yes. Yeah. Well, we've seen how Benji faced various challenges at the workplace, and I'm just wondering, you know, um, do you, have you encountered, you know, similar um, challenges shared by students in in your day to day meeting with them? Mm, of course, I mean, from time to time, we also get, um, you know, gather students' feedback, and when I bump into them, I ask them, you know, how's your IWSP experience? And to be honest, some of them share with me, hey, tired, tough. And some will tell me SKW, if you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, so, well, but to be honest, I think these are really real um, concerns and very real feedback that they share because it is true that they go through pretty tough times at work. Mm. Um, some go through really long working hours, some go through shift works, you know, some meet with maybe, the, it's, it's tough to really manage the relationships at work, mm. you know, but I think what's important is not what they go through, but how they go through it. And mm. it's, of course, important how we go through it. With that positive mindset yeah okay yeah i agree with rachel uh these are challenges that all of us will face all mm. students will face mm. when mm. come to the workplace mm. not just what uh, benji has uh, faced in the video <laughs> uh but it is all about how you going to face it mm. and how you're going to manage it mm. right it's not about uh how you feel or whatever so that is, that's why it's very important very important that uh, the students adopt the growth mindset mm. yeah, mm. yeah. Maybe to add on to what Daniel shared, I guess having a long-term perspective to things yes. are important as well. Mm. Sometimes challenges are really just things that happen within mm. you know this this current season. You see, but if they actually grow all of it and make it through it, actually you know what what can come for them in the future? They never know you know opportunities mm. that they never imagined. You know, so these are things that I really would want to encourage all students. You know, to really have that long-term perspective to how they see challenges, their current challenges in life. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, one of the things that I heard uh, from students sometimes mm. is that, you know, like we mentioned, it's tired and so on. Mm. But it can be also fulfilling. Mm. Yeah. And uh, we also have uh, students who see this um, IWSP very differently. So mm. I have one student who shared with me before that, well, this is like a 12 months job <laughs> interview. And uh, early on, you mentioned something about a student receiving advance offer. I think mm-hmm. that uh, if the students are, uh, they are able to kind of um, uh, frame their mind in terms of you know uh, what they can get, uh, the kind of experience they get from IWSP, mm-hmm. definitely they will um, you know gain a, a lot of experience, a lot of different uh, learnings uh, from from mm-hmm. this, mm-hmm. and uh, well. Well, they might just get uh, an advance offer for themselves. Mm. Yes, and this yeah. advance offer for some of them is not just a fresh grad advance offer, but some of them do actually get a higher grade offer as well. Oh. Yes, oh. yeah. It's like so, a so yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah, because they have already be, have been in that position for mm. not at least eight months. Mm. We're gonna make manage expectation, huh? <laughs> <laughs> not every no, job in yes, industry, yes, right? Yes. Terms and conditions yes, apply. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. Okay, so um, maybe I'll just 
you know, another questions for the three of what what do you what do you hope students can take away from the video? Maybe we'll start with Rachel. Mm. Well, I guess like I've mentioned, you know, Anna's character is a character that really wants to help Benji and help mm. him shine his work. You know, and, and in life actually people are generally like that. They do desire to want to help. Mm. And but however, you know, sometimes, you know, the attitude plays a very important part as well. So I really, you know, encourage students, like even if they really need help, it's important to actually have that good attitude, that humbleness to really ask mm. for help mm. instead of like maybe, you know, expecting to be helped. Yeah. Right, Interesting right. that you talk about how in real life actually mm. people mm. out there do want to help mm. um, um, students or anyone in general. We mm. have a help, help, helpful helping hand approach mm. to, to, to things to work. And I'm just wondering, is this the same kind of feedback from industry partners or are there other insights from our industry partners so far about our students, SIT students? Mm. Well, I guess, um, well, actually some of the feedback that I gather from our industry partners is actually our students, actually most of them have a very good attitude of learning. Mm. They are very um, humble and they are, they, they are willing to go the extra mile to, to learn mm. and to work longer hours. Mm. And to be honest, these are the, 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 not so much on the technical skills, of course our students do have it, but more than that, it's really the good working attitude that really makes our students shine. Mm. Yeah. How, about, how about Daniel? Yeah, I tend to agree with uh, Rachel mm. because uh, the feedback I got from industry partners, mm. uh, the students uh, always take the initiative, mm. all right? They will not just sit by and wait for instructions, all right? As a result, they learn more, mm. all right? Uh, and uh, that's the overall performance of the students. Uh, but one thing that I will, uh, hope the students can take away from this uh, video, Benji's dream, is that uh, build your relationship within mm. a company. Mm. Build a relationship with this company, not right. only with just your supervisor, mm. but with everyone in the different uh, circle within that organization. Mm. All right, because you will never know who you, uh, what sort of help from who you will mm. require. Mm. Mm. All right, mm. so that is very important. I hope they will take away from this uh, video. Right. So, uh, Benji, oh, I kind of mixed up your name. <laughs> yeah. oh, Benji, so when you're playing the, the character Benji, you, you put yourself in the shoe of the student. Mm. So how, how is it like to leave a day and you have mm. the privilege to leave the day of a, a student undergoing a work attachment? How, how, is it, how does it make you feel? And what are some of the, maybe some of the learning point you got from this? Mm. There is a form of anxiety about going to work because you don't know what to expect. Mm. Um, you know, the kind of obstacles mm. and the kind of people relationship that mm. you will actually mm. meet along the way. Right. Yeah, so, um, which is why I get I thought, uh, you know, in SIT, we do have a very strong support system for our students. Mm. Yes. And, uh, you know, having the right mindset mm. together with, you know, the support and resources that we have mm. to prepare them, um, give them more um, confidence to charge forward right, to the right. IWSV. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, so because because we're gonna watch some parts of that film uh, soon, uh, we're just wondering what can we hear from our main cast. You know, some fun facts behind the <laughs> scenes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I like to know too. I think fun facts for myself is you know the few seconds that you see on screen, right? Actually, behind the scenes, right? It takes at least maybe 10 times, 10, 10 scenes, 10 takes to work on that. Right. You know, talking about that falling flat part. Oh my gosh, I think my colleague here, he has to really <laughs> fall flat, um, like I think more than 10 times, right? To just yeah. do yeah. that scene. So it really, I think it really gives me personally a deeper appreciation mm. of like the effort that goes behind you know, dramas that we watch on TV and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, but you are fired. I think Daniel <laughs> had to reenact that scene for like, I don't know how many times. It's not that he's not good, but really because the, the producers has to take it from a different angle. So that's mm. that's pretty interesting mm. and an eye-opening experience for okay, me. Okay, talking about that, that <laughs> falling down part, I'm very keen to know. Mm. Where do you film that, that particular scene of falling down? Oh, okay, uh, so th that uh, scene was filmed outside SIT at the right. bus stop. Dover. Yes, mm. in Dover. Oh, so along AYE. Yes. The highway. Yes. And and and, and, and you just uh, told me just now that uh, you were filming it and uh, the, the students were actually leaving uh, yeah. for the day. <laughs> and it was during the peak hour. Because the, peak the sun, you know, the lighting and everything is good right. at that mm. point of time. Mm. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I guess what is running through my mind, you know, is, uh, you know, I just want to make it look real and realistic. Right. Yeah, so I just want the best outcome for the film. So you, you, you actually fell? Yes. 
For real. Yeah. For real. <laughs> so I think um, the whole scene took me about one hour. Yeah, Whoa. on the wow. ground. Yeah. yeah, but we have a very cute makeup artist. Yeah. <laughs> we actually prepared like face tower. Right. Yeah, so during the time when they are trying to fix the camera angles and discussing where to film, my head is actually, you know, resting. You couldn't move and you're just there yes. waiting for them to finish the decision. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Were, the, were people watching? Uh, I can't be bothered. But <laughs> 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 you in front um, um, uh, of the screen would get to see it again, and yeah, uh, you could, yeah I think that's gonna be and, brilliant. And you know what? It's maybe real. maybe some of them who's watching this right yes. now would have seen, seen the flaming, the actual mm. flaming. Yeah, yeah, and you're probably one of those hundreds of people who walked past the flaming the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and I realized that um, earlier on we were having a chat before this uh, this uh, the show, and uh, we were saying that actually Daniel has this part. Mm where he has this very long script that he has to <laughs> memorize <laughs> and he has to come with uh, some kind of emotion. Yeah. I think yeah. that part about firing. Yeah, was, was that your favorite scene or what's the fun scene? <laughs> yeah, and you, you, know, you know what? The, yeah. the, the fun thing is, not, not the fun thing, but the amazing things that he did at one take. Mm, oh, and I heard that the, the director mm. wanted to sign him as a... Yeah. As a talent, <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. Uh, second job now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, I must admit I was a uh, uh, total wreck that day. All right, <laughs> I was very nervous. This is my first time doing filming at yeah. this level. Uh, but like what uh, Jeff has mentioned in that particular take, where I have to have a long talk with Benji. <laughs> all right. Uh, I try to I, I I frame myself in the sense that I, as if I'm talking to my child at home. Right. right? One of those long talks. Hey, call Papa. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, Alright. So I try to focus. Yeah. Uh, I try to frame myself in that that, that style of setting, mm. and that actually helps me because I'll try to be myself. <laughs> no, I just want to highlight something. I think uh, Daniel brought up a very important point, and I think every one of us, uh, you know, uh, Daniel, Rachel, the the career coach. Uh, you know, in their respective programs, it is something that is n not in natural for them to be actors and actresses. Mm. Um, but the fact that they actually kind of put themselves into this and you know really do their homework and preparation is something that I think students should actually kind mm. of learn from this, yeah. um, because um, memorizing script is is definitely we all have this experience, but it's not easy to memorize it, and it comes with a lot of. Uh, uh, acting, emotions, and stuff like that, and it's not part of the job, or at least it's not part of the JD. Yeah, But I think I think uh, what we can learn from this is actually those uh, students who are watching this as well is that sometimes that uh, what we have to you know adapt, we have mm. to learn mm. new skills, yes. and whatever we do, we just have to put one hundred and ten percent into yes. you know the things that we do to make things uh, you know um, you know awesome, mm -hmm. and and in this case I think the objective of the film that we mentioned earlier is really about you know trying to send a message to the students mm -hmm. how you can prepare and you just demonstrated I mean the three of us demonstrated that you moved out from your comfort zone and do something that is <laughs> beyond and and I, I just uh, hope that you know those of you who are watching this film uh, you appreciate the effort that that is all behind if I may add on um, yeah. actually it's not just within uh, Center for Career Readiness that we've gotten right. help from uh, we also have gotten help from um, the health and social sciences ah, okay. right. yes. ah. yeah because uh, we actually have to borrow you know their the apartment mm. yeah that the, the mock apartment that they uh, the students mm. use right, right. Right, as part of their practicum and uh, transform <laughs> the apartment with all the props <laughs> You know, we actually gotten our colleagues to yeah. donate, yes. um, you know, items <laughs> to fill up the room. No right. AI magic. No yeah. AI magic. <laughs> right, right. So, okay, so it's a collaborative effort. And, and we, we kind of, uh, we, um, I think those uh, students who are watching this, maybe from the HSS, Maybe they won't, won't kind of recognize the room either, right? Mm, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, very well done. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode of Career Latte. And if you've enjoyed it, please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you in our next episode.